Okay, next technique is gonna be uh, we're gonna go over the crop choke. Turtle. Feel free to move. Yeah, turtle. Feel free to move around. Do why you take me from any angle that you you need to? Uh, so crop choke basically is a, it's a it's an attack you know that you can do from turtle right there you know. So we're we're fighting. He went to turtle. So what I'm gonna do? First thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and get my positioning to depend to see how I can react and to see what he's gonna give me, right? Uh, you don't wanna have your hips on the ground because if he turns towards me, I cannot react and he, you know, or even he turns away from me, like roll away. Yeah, I, I, you don't give me time to react to go and follow him for an attack, okay? So go to turtle again. So you wanna have your weight, if I'm on this side, you wanna have your weight on this part of the hips right there. You want to be, you want to be in your toes, foot engaged. The knees should not be on the mat either. Okay, most of the weight pressure should be there, because w whether he rolls towards me or away, I'm able to react away or just follow him. Okay, so you want to have your weight on him. Now for this attack, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and this hand is gonna go under his armpit, and I'm gonna go ahead and open the lapel for this thumb to go in under his neck. Okay, so stand up real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the lapel. This thumb is gonna go inside the lapel right there, okay? Open, right there. Immediately, I'm gonna go ahead and fish for, the, for his forearm to kill his posture. Because he's gonna be posting with this elbow. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that, that leg of the table away from him, okay? So I'm, my, I got my way in, open the lapel real quick, thumb in, go ahead and kill. Kill that, that posture right there. Everybody got that? So now my weight is, my hips, my hip weight is on his hip. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna transfer my weight to what he's shorter, okay? To what he's shorter, my hips are gonna stay sideways as I walk sideways toward the other side. Wow. Okay? That's where you get the shoulder. Everybody got that? So he's gonna go in turtle, I'm in position. Lapel, thumb in, under the neck. I'm gonna kill this form right there. I'm gonna take it with me. I'm gonna transfer my hip to his shoulder. But my hip stays sideways. I'm gonna walk sideways. Basically around the clock, okay? Time. Also, as you walk sideways, you can try to aim your head towards the mat to increase, uh, to increase that weight. Uh, what, is get, what, is the, what is getting the shock done basically is because you're pulling the lapel this way and your hips weight, your body weight is going down. So that's what creating that shock, that tension right there, okay? I'm putting my weight sideways, open the lapel, thumb in, kill his posture with this, uh, the, the forearm, transfer, and walk sideways, and you get the shock. Everybody good? Just remember, when, once you transfer your hips to his shoulder, you wanna commit to this, okay? You don't wanna be like this. You wanna commit, head towards the mat, walk sideways, you get this summation right there. Questions? Okay, let's do it, one, two, three. 